brighten up those already bright mornings. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter. Mornings at the cabin. Ah, good morning, everybody. If you're listening, then that must mean you're one of the three people we have left in Yellowknife who hasn't gone over their internet this month. Congratulations. Well done. Two days left to hang on in there. It's very strange how many people, Lecter, are, are complaining about this. Yeah, it's funny. Someone posted in Yellowknife Classifieds yesterday. Uh, just basically saying, like, hey, we went way over our internet this month, and we don't usually. What's the deal? Anyone else? And, like, the first couple were like, nah, pretty much normal. And then? And then, like, 97%. Yeah, we're over, too. What the heck's going on? A typhoon of overage. And somehow, no comment from Jesse Wheeler. Strangely silent on maybe, this one. Maybe went over way earlier to the point where Northwest Tell has just cut the line <laughs> at this point. You're done, son. We're cutting you off. <laughs> He's too dangerous. Yeah. Can't have him commenting on these things. You know what? I would do that just for the Facebook commenting alone. On content grounds. Changing the subject completely. At the risk of putting myself too much on Front Street, what do you notice different about me today? What's missing with this picture? Uh... It's looking a little, little more shaved, maybe. A no, little, a little more groomed. No, 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 no. no, no. no um, nothing like that. Oh my goodness, uh, you're missing your strings. Off I'm your missing hoodie? my strings. Yeah, through my brand new cabin radio hoodie in the dryer. Oh. string got pulled out because, like a noob, I didn't tie the knots in the end. And here I am, stringless before you. I have just started tying those knots. Now, this morning show brought to you by Knack, hosting Florian Valon on September the seventh at seven thirty p.m. We will get more from Nack a little bit later on this morning at 8 o'clock. We'll also find out how to preserve your cabin radio hoodie if you're just no good at tying the strings. Mornings at the Cabin, the podcast. Ollie and Lecter with you on your Friday morning. Flora Valong coming to Nack September the 7th, 7.30 p.m. here in Yellowknife. One of the driving forces among First Nations musicians for his last 30 years of his career coming to Nack next week. More about that coming up later in the show. In the meantime... One of the most shared news stories I think I've ever written yesterday, the $2 million anonymous donation to help out kids' mental health in the Northwest Territories. Uh, I have never seen uh, a happy news story get that many shares. I think out of uh, all the stories we've done, usually at least one terrible thing has to have happened to one person uh, for it to get hundreds and hundreds of shares, you know, missing people, all the sorts of things. Oh, it's horrible. This time, finally... A good news story that everybody's on board with, Lecter. Oh, there you go. Uh, right. yeah, there we go. You didn't want to hear from me about that. Well, it's because I've got something to say about that. Have you got two million and a bit bucks? Are you going to outbid them? No. Uh, just. Yeah, never mind. Microphone back down. <laughs> no, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's, it's, it's not often that, well, 100% of people agree, hey, this is a good thing. Yeah, for the first time in a long time in the cabin radio comments, <laughs> there was nobody chirping. Nobody down there who's like, oh, just two million? Yeah. Of your own money? Yeah. Well, that two million could have gone, you know, elsewhere too, you know, just saying. It's a pretty watertight <laughs> thing to spend your two million on, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, uh, if it had been, yeah, you know, with the best will in the world, and I love what they've done with the ballpark downtown, yeah. but if it had been two million bucks to like add floodlights to the ballpark, Oof. it'd have been like, eh. Oof. All right. Yeah, and like everybody's got a hobby. That's fair enough. Yeah, I mean, that helps certain people's mental health. But. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, but but two million to, to help kids in small NWT communities get access to psychiatry. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty solid way to spend an extra two million bucks that you happen to have hanging around. The only thing you could say is that, well, it's, it, it's only two million. <laughs> have you, if you just invested that a little more wisely, as everyone will know from listening earlier in the week, here at Cabin Radio, we yeah. are specialists in... Uh, in investing in uh, the stocks, as I think Jesse was uh, referring to. Yeah, give Disney Plus a thought. Give Beyond Meat a thought. Could have donated $5 million. People should just listen to Mornings at the Cabin a little more often. Pay more attention, and then we'd all be a little richer in the pocket and also in the soul. Oh, that's right. Absolutely. Like, what are these guys not taking advantage of? Mm, okay, going for it. Yeah. Here, here at Cabin Radio, we do nothing but sit here each morning... And give you ways to spend $2 million. I mean, an obvious one would be cabin radio. Yeah, the Kids' mental health is one thing. I like to think that we contribute to the mental health of all ages. And all these mental health in general. Well, it certainly yeah, has a contributing effect on my mental health. I'm not sure, however, that's a positive. That's a cause worth contributing yeah, to. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a cause. 
of, of issues with mental health as opposed to a cause of positive mental health. Even that wouldn't get all positive reviews in the comment section. Ollie, really? Yeah. That guy needs help? I don't know. He kind of seems that, like he has it all. That guy needs $2 million. Yes, yes, that'd be nice, actually. <laughs> that'd be really nice. Hey, speaking of which, um, it's something like $50 million on the Lotto Max tonight. Oh, my God. Uh, it's just one of those. I had a conversation with somebody yesterday. I, I rarely get around to playing the lottery here. Yeah. In the UK, you can play it online. Uh, you can't is, do that here? I don't. Can you? I don't I, know. I, I couldn't I, figure I'm it out. I'm no expert. Last time sure. I looked was a couple of years ago, and I yeah. couldn't figure it out. Maybe you can now. We should ask the people that we did a give, big giveaway we, on Wednesday. Funnily enough, we, we did just spend the whole week doing something rather large with the people who would know. Uh, they could phone back in if they happen to know. No, I, I don't know if you can or not, but it used to be super easy in the UK. You could just slink onto the lottery website. Put okay. your numbers in and, and hit go. Hmm. And they just run them for a few weeks or however long you said. Here, don't forget it, the extra. Here it's taking a little bit more effort. And I'm like, oh, you've got to go in the store and fill oh, Don't yeah. do that. Yeah. So uh, I keep I keep holding off on really getting involved. Tonight may be the night. Yeah. Because, yeah, I think it's at 50 something million. That is always, I've always imagined in my head that being like the ultimate figure where like radio station and me set for life <laughs> at that point. 50 million. Yeah. And you're good. 50, I'm good. Like 40 is still a little bit. <laughs> It's a little you know, dicey. Like, I could burn through that. Yeah. You know, I, I, 40 really, like, by the time, yeah, there's there's ways and means of getting rid of 40. 50, you're like, oh, come on, Ollie. It would take, 40 million on black. I just, I yeah. can't do that with 50. No, you can't do that with 50. Much. You feel like with 50, there's just like, come on, Ollie, any responsible person should be able to see their way through to the end of life with 50 million bucks. Yeah, in theory. Even on the interest, you know. Yeah, oh God. Even just yeah. putting it in the bag and leaving it there. I mean, it's interesting to me. So. Oh, very good. All right, we're operating at this level on a Friday morning. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast was recorded before a sort of live, thankfully not in the studio, audience. Uh, your plans over the weekend, Lecto? Uh, I have none. I'm doing absolutely nothing worthwhile. What about you? Not even attending the Cabin Radio slow pitch party? I genuinely don't know about this. Is oh, there one in the group. Oh. I mean, it wasn't on the schedule, so I guess that explains why you... Didn't knowingly ignore it. Um, tell me about the... Sl- <laughs> this is awkward. Tell me about the slow pitch party. Well, we're just having a little get-together. All the people who played for the inaugural season. Which does Cabin actually Radio include me. because It does! I you played, played a game! What? Yeah! I actually really enjoyed it. I kind of regret well, not playing all that? the other ones. I know. Imagine that. You enjoyed playing a game. <laughs> Sorry, Lecter. Amazing. Well, you know what? Season two is just around the corner. Uh, you, you say that. <laughs> It's really long way away. It's uh, yeah, no, it's a ways away. Okay, it's a long, so, cold winter away. Look, before I forget, just give me the details on the air of the slow pitch party. Can you like roughly when and where? Don't give me all the details. I realize we don't want that. All the hordes of listeners coming and invading. But like, what, what, what time should I be blocking out for this? Ah, uh, just any time, any time in the evening, any time before two a.m. tonight. Yeah, really. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, anyway, any other weekend plans? <laughs> After that, just going to the cabin, spending the long weekend there, and uh, yeah, pretty much just taking it easy. Well, that sounds lovely, and and you have a little something for our audience tonight. I do, yeah. Before all of that, a tool listening party. What is a listening party, you ask? I do. Well, I don't actually know. I'm just going to play an album up. from front to back. Yeah, amazing. So this is this is the fact that Tool have resurfaced. Yes, after more than a decade, and you have the full cabin radio celebration. Yeah, I mean, uh, it seemed like, actually, I th- and I think I read an article uh, last week that it's like, no doubt, Tool fans who are super happy that this album is finally coming out will be having Tool listening parties, and I was like, that hadn't even occurred to me. <laughs> Dude, uh, what do you, like, what, what, is it, what do you do? You, like, go to a cafe and have them dim the lights and just put on some heavy metal music? Like, What? Have you been to a listening party no, before? I didn't even know that was a thing. I, I don't think I have no. either. I I mean, I guess like I went to Jay Gilday's album launch party, but that okay. was very much like a listening party while watching him perform it. Yeah, that's, I mean, like, that's, that's a little different. And, that's... And we kind of call those concerts. Yeah, we yeah. tend to, yes. <laughs> Not really parties, although I guess you could construe it that way. You coming to see Paul McCartney's listening party? <laughs> yeah. In the I, arena in Edmonton? <laughs> yeah, now, now as far as I know, Tool is not here in Yellowknife, not prepared no? to put on a cabin radio live in the flesh listening party, so get, we're going to make do with what we got, which is the new album, which came out today, 
going to play it from start to finish tonight at 9 p.m. on Cabin Radio. And uh, it'll, like, simulate a party because you know that at least one other person will be listening if you happen to tune in. That pe- that person could be me or it could be several people. It still counts. It still counts. It's still a party. If there's two of you there, it's a party. You know what? And I would also gladly admit I, I have had a, a significant number of one-person parties in my lifetime <laughs> as well where I've just been in front of Netflix with a bucket of ice cream you look around now this is my idea of a party yeah this is a party yeah. i i have a I, this is like peak party for me <laughs> everyone's having a good time nobody is nobody is distracting me from what i'm trying to achieve <laughs> here with my happiness nobody smiles all around nobody is between me and the good food <laughs> isn't that the worst part of a party when all the good food suddenly disappears because there's other people there eating it well and and you're finding yourself forced to chat to somebody who has you kind of penned into a corner oh. has been going at you for 25 minutes and you could see that the last of the ice cream is being scraped out <laughs> by some twelve-year-old urchin. Wait, how, oh, oh, you're talking like a five-year-old's birthday? No, party. I'm talking. I'm talking. Well, I'm talking about anybody. Well, Scott, like, Scott, I, I Scott, can't Scott. remember the last some party people, I've been to with ice cream. Some people have to bring their children to parties, you <laughs> know, because yeah, like, you've got to remember, like, right. not everybody's young and carefree like you, and and has you know could just casually abandon anything else in their in their care for the right. evening. Fair enough. Yeah, you know, you've got to bring those kids along, and they're over there. They're scraping out the ice cream. They're making a mess of everything. <laughs> oh, this is a nightmare. I if mean, only someone would play an entire Tool album right now. That would get the 12-year-old right out of the ice cream. distract everybody nicely. Uh, don't blame kids for making a mess at a party. You know, you know as well as I do, adults are fully capable of making just horrific messes at a party. It's not just kids with the ice cream. <laughs> yeah, the messes adults make, they're not as innocent. No. Like the kid, kid messes are like, oh, it's a kid mess. You can pat yeah. on the head. Yeah, it's kid was like one. essentially trying to do something that was <laughs> basically, <laughs> you know, like but above board. Yes. Yeah. Adult should have been able to handle it, couldn't. Yeah. Mess ensues. Um, there will be no children at the tool listening party. Excellent. <laughs> so there you go. Get that out of the way right now. Will there um, be ice cream? If you happen to have like super rad kids that just like too old and i mean I, I guess they're invited there won't be ice cream okay sorry but it's too so, sticky so hang on now i'm confused by your child admittance policy so <laughs> so you are going to judge each child on a case-by-case basis as to whether they appear rad enough to be a tool fan well i just on assume the door. most kids don't don't like tools considering their last album came out when anyone that would qualify as a quote-unquote kid would have maybe just been born where do you where do you cut off kid i don't know like cabin radio news the nwt human rights commission <laughs> rules today on uh cabin radio's tool child admittance policy <laughs> okay you can come if your parents allow you to come how about that uh, i'm not gonna put uh, up any hard fast barriers we wore him down quickly everybody if you ever need to get into a party hosted by elected just give him five minutes of grief and he's like you know what just come in just come oh guys <laughs> Not worth the trouble. Just come on in. Didn't take me long to uh, trump Stella Friday, though, eh? Well, that's true. That's true. Stella Fridays will be back at some point. Stella actually has to go back to high school. Ah, you kid. Know. Ah, kids. <laughs> oh, half the cabin radio workforce is gone. Honestly, it's like a desert in here now. There's nobody around. Yeah, so we talked about it yesterday. Yeah. I, I popped in uh, while you were working away and was like, Ollie, I want to do a tool listening party. What do you think about that, Mr. Program Director? You knew that I was just going to whine and cry if you said no. And Stella Friday was not scheduled for tomorrow. So you're like, you know what? Give Lecter his bottle on this one. Just let him have a tool listing party. It'll be fun. And I made a very good point. I think that the the fact that Stella would have been about three years old, I'm guessing. I'm going to go ahead and say that she did not plan to run a tool listening party tonight. Yeah. Their, their last album came out when she was three years old. Yeah. So you can't really say she's been waiting for this. She doesn't know. She doesn't know what real sacrifice is about yet. Honestly, I can't wait to get Stella back in this building and discover <laughs> that she is an actual fan, a Just dedicated a tool, tool fan, fan who has been waiting four fifths of her life for a new tool to come out. I Stella would go up yet another notch in my books. Yep, she's already held in high estimation over here. But if she turns out to be a lifelong tool fanatic. Then, uh, then yeah, she's going to go up some more. All right, Stella, if you've been waiting since the age of two, then, uh, yeah, then, then then you're invited to the tool party tonight. Tool tonight. Cabin Radio's complete tool is on the air from 9 p.m. 
Uh, how long is the album? At least an hour, right? I mean, it's tall. The oh, I mean, individual tracks are like nine and a half hours. Yeah, aren't they? If, if, if it's over by 11.30, I'll be shocked. <laughs> okay. Enjoy yourselves, everybody. I'll be listening to that. I'm looking forward to my tool education. And, uh, yeah, enjoy your long weekend. What a way to start it. Oh, no. We'll never get it out now. So certain you are. Always with you, it cannot be done. Hear you nothing that I say? Master, moving stones around is one thing. This is totally different. No. No different. Only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. All right, I'll I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. I can't. It's too big. Size matters not. Look at me. Judge me by my size, do you? Hmm? Hmm. And well, you should not. For my ally in the force, and a powerful ally it is. Life creates it, makes it grow. Its energy surrounds us and binds us. Luminous beings, are we? Not this crude matter. You must feel the force around you. Here, between you, me, the tree, the rock, everywhere. Yes, even between this land and that ship. You want the impossible. I don't... I don't believe it. That is why you fail. Scenes from the cabin. Know the movie? Submit your guest to mailbox at cabinradio.ca or send us a message on Facebook for your chance to win gift certificates to some awesome Yellowknife restaurants, including Zehabesha, the Monkey Tree Pub, the Woodyard Eatery, Copper House Restaurant, and Javaroma. Listen to Cabin Radio every weekday to win or download the Mornings at the Cabin podcast. Uh, hello, Marie Cadet. Hello. Morning. Welcome back to Mornings at the Cabin. Thank uh, you, merci. We had you in a couple of weeks ago to talk about the whole NAC season and mm-hmm. everything that's coming up. Today, though, Super focused because the whole thing kicks off next week with Florent Vallon. Mm-hmm. Tell us a little bit more about who's coming and why everybody should be at this show. Okay. Um, first of all, Florent Vallon has been leading his solo career for at least now probably 20, like we're in 2019, at least 20, close to 25 years. Uh, but prior to that, uh, Florent Vallon was the other half of Cash Team uh, with Claude McKenzie. Kashtin is uh, one of the probably most popular indigenous group uh, back in the 90s, 80s, uh, all across Canada. Uh, they are from Quebec. And as I was saying to uh, CKLB when I, they interviewed me, um, I grew up in Quebec City uh, back in the 80s, 90s. I didn't, I didn't have internet and Florent Volant was and Kashtin were extremely popular. But I had no clue because it's really rare you see uh, an artist from Quebec crossing the border of Quebec. They're going to go to Europe, maybe a little bit in the States, but they never. it's really rare you see them in the other province of Canada. So I'm trying to build a bridge a lot about that. But as far as uh, Florent Volant goes and Kashtin, uh, I go back to what I was saying. Uh, um, I grew up in the 80s, 90s, and and. We had absolutely no clue that Cashin was so popular all across Canada. And and they really blazed the trail uh, for a long list of indigenous artists that we see in today's days. And um, they sing in Inu, in French, and in, in English. But I'm talking about Florent Volant now, but these guys are Inu uh, from northern uh, East Quebec. And um, Manu, Manu Telam, the community where they, uh, they are from. And um, when I was at the French Association, I worked six years for the French Associations in Fort Smith, in Uvic, and I was three years at the French SO uh, in Yellowknife. And just before I moved to uh, Waiki, uh, to MNAC in 2012, Florent Volant was my last show I presented. I invited him, and I did absolutely very little promotions at the museum, and I thought the French community would show up because it's so popular in Quebec. And as I said, I had no clue it was so popular all across Canada. But the room was filled with indigenous people. The word has been was spread word to mouth, like uh, mouth to word, word to mouth. We say that like that in English. Word to mouth. Yes, thank you. Um, And and I was like, oh my God, Florent Valin is a real legend. Like he's a superstar. (laughs) So it's when I realized that. 
he had such a big impact uh, on the indigenous communities uh, all across Canada. And it's wow. during the Oka crisis too, when they were at their peak too. Like they, they, uh, they really played a key role model. They are activists too. Florent Valin is a strong activist for environment, the lakes and the rivers. And yeah, so they are in for a treat and Digga Wolf will play a song with him because Digga Wolf is, uh, Florent Valin is his, uh, idol or he, he, <laughs> he, he played with him in Quebec and, and when I, I um, had him coming um, Pat Burden I was thinking of inviting Diga Wolf and Pat Burden right away contacted me and he said you should have the on stage I said I know yes for <laughs> sure like so Diga will be performing one song uh, with him at the end so uh, I'm just noticing, reading here, they did a Christmas album in Inu in 1999. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is immediately going on the Cabin Radio Christmas playlist. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we, yes, please. We like to try to find Christmas stuff to play that is yes. not your average. Oh, I'm telling you, like, if you were going, like, uh, interviewing indigenous people in Yellowknife, uh, Bechoko, uh, Kakiza, whatever, the community around Deta, Dilo, if you talk about casting, like, they were, like, Oh my God, we love Kashtin. So, yes. Everybody from 40 and up all know Kashtin. Okay, done. Literally yeah. looking up that Christmas album right yes. now. That's <laughs> going on the playlist. Uh, speaking of Christmas, by the way, I mean, this is on a different tangent, but you guys have quite the Christmas show coming yes. up. Yes. Yeah. Do you want the story or the short story? Do you, how much time do you have? Well, you know what? Let's go for the short story. Okay. We're only on till nine. I- Okay, <laughs> I was in New York uh, for Christmas and I uh, had an, a random invitation to be uh, going uh, for the New Year's uh, celebration at Alice Kendall's. No big deal. Uh, I yes, don't know I, where. I remember this story from yeah, last time. Yeah, so anyway, I met, there I met, drops I met, all the famous name story. <laughs> yes. yes. So, founder of the Metropolitan Opera, I felt quite intimidated to be in her penthouse surrounded by the best opera singer in the world. But I met Kofi A. Ford, who is absolutely grounded down to her. Uh, Wonderful human being. So I kept in touch with him and uh, I asked him, do you want to uh, design a show, a uh, Christmas gospel and opera show for Yellowknife? And he will be touring in the small communities as a duet. So he came with the pianist, the former pianist of Pavarotti, no big deal, <laughs> and, and, and six uh, opera singers who are in the circuit of the Metropolitan Opera and all around the world from six different countries. Uh, so... People are in for it. It's going to be the first time those six people will be performing together. So that's Look at that. Cool. Schmoozing in New York paying off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, what about schmoozing on the Frame Lake Trail? So, yes. So this is the last thing I wanted to ask you about. This is tomorrow. Yes. The Great Frame Lake Artist Treasure Trail. Yes. What's going on? Okay, short story. Uh, I was sleeping nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I'm tired to do raffles for fundraisers, and I'm a big fan of street artists. I've I've done festival for street artists before, and and uh, I wanted to get NAC outside of NAC too. Uh, so it's a multi, like it's multiple factor that came uh, into play for this fundraiser, and I was sleeping at 7 a.m. and my parents, after 15 years, doesn't get the point that there's two hours of difference with Quebec City. So they <laughs> called me for them at nine, and for me it was a Sunday, 7 a.m. and uh, I was grumpy at first, but. They were all excited and they were saying, Marie, we're walking on a trail in Quebec City and there is, it's a fundraiser and there are artists all along the trail playing live. It's so great. I was like, eh, I could do that here. Where we now? Have trails? So at first I thought about Cameron Falls, but it's quite far, right? Yeah. So, but maybe eventually. And, um, and I said, well, we will do it around Frame Lake, but just on the nature side. So boat entrance will be, um, will be at the hospital and at the legislative assembly. It's by donations. We suggest ten dollars. They will receive a little passport. Six artists will be along the trail from spoken word, visual artists, and and music. Uh, Wesley Hardesty cannot make it finally because he's going to Hay River for a big competition. So we replaced him by Brian Wedick. Um, so yes, people will have surprise along the trail and I find it pretty cool because it's a good time to get some fresh air before the winter comes and also discover a super cool artist. You see, it has only just dawned on me that this is a real live, like the artists themselves. 
Yeah, Initially, I thought I was there was like, like little prizes along the trail yeah. that were hidden, but no, no it, it's just people, it's people are just hanging out. Yes, so. hanging out and playing, and and honestly, like, uh, but you need to, you will have your little passport, and people, uh, the artists or the volunteer will stamp it along the way to make sure because there will be runners along the trail, people who just want to continue doing their walk without enjoying uh, it. It's, it's <laughs> people not, who are completely unaware that this yeah, is so we, have a, we have a way to control <laughs> it, but I will be walking all along the trail to make sure everything goes well. We We'll have also Flavor Trader giving uh, appetizers huh. at both entrance and uh, what point. It's going to be purely acoustic. Don't expect any sound check, uh, <laughs> sound check or sound system. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's really a first year and I really want to develop it as a really cool festival eventually. So um, it's a test run. We, we will have, there will be mistakes, but um, we invite people from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And it's my goal if, in the future to like the soft seat theater for the new generation, uh, it's changing. So I want to get the performing arts shown in different settings. Okay, one o'clock uh, tomorrow afternoon. Johnny Cole, Terry Pamplin, and Jen Walden, Natasha Deshane, Maggie Mercury, Miranda Curry, Brian Whitick. Uh, admission by donation, ten dollars suggested donation, and uh, get your stamps along the way. Yeah, Jen Walden cannot make it anymore, but it's. Uh, she's replaced. Terry will be there. Go find her at a house. Yeah. <laughs> Insist on a stamp. <laughs> and Rosalie Scott with puppetry and, and painting. But okay. There we go. There you go. <laughs> you know what? If you see anyone doing art tomorrow afternoon, yeah. yell at them, they demand a stamp for a passport. It'll yeah, be fine. Exactly. It's and you can win well. a, a two season pass too. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Even better. All yeah. right. Enjoy that. Marie Claire, thank you for coming in. <laughs> thank you. Much appreciated. <laughs> no problem. And go check out Florent Verlant, which is next Friday at NAC. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast. Ambassador for Cabin Radio, Nicole, mm-hmm. is is elsewhere in the country having a ball and hanging out at a rather auspicious location like this. Yeah, she sent me a picture just moments ago of the uh, the CRTC office, Ooh. which of course is the Canadian Radio. Oh, I'm going to get this wrong. Canadian Don't Radio Telecommunications wrong. Commission? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, something like Pretty that. Pretty sure. Anyway, That's what I'd have gone for. The ones, the overlords, for whether or not yes. cabin radio will show up on your FM dial anytime in the near or far future. <laughs> Ever. It hangs in the balance in that office. So she sent me a picture. She's like, should I go say hey? I was like, better than that, burst through the door <laughs> and beg and grovel for a new FM station. Please. And yell, I, please. Oh, for the love of God, we need another We're radio station. Trying so hard. I thought that could she could really do us a solid. Yeah. She wanted to take one for the team there. Don't yeah. know if that's happening or not. Okay. Maybe she's being taken away by security right now. <laughs> but it'll have been worth it. <laughs> totally. I, I Absolutely. look forward to that security camera footage. Be <laughs> dragged away like a Hong Kong protester. Yeah. Good work, Nicole. Yeah, I think it's worth it. All in the service of cabin radio. Uh, we should say on this note, uh, we, we're relatively confident. People come up all the time and ask, how's the FM thing going? Which we understand. Like, that's a good thing. It's a good thing that people come up all the time and ask. If nobody was asking, that would be sad. Yeah. So it's good that people ask. Uh, I would say in the next 24 hours, it is likely that the application will be filed. Oh, I thought you were going to say that we'd be, we'll be on Official. FM. No. Um, and I know that's what people will probably end up thinking. I'll tell people oh, yeah, we're, we're filing our application. And people are like, oh, sweet, next week then? Yeah. Next week on FM? So what's no. the frequency? It, um, it, yeah, just, just, just don't. Just don't go there. <laughs> uh, it, it'll still be, like, it's still a months, months, months long process for the CRTC to go through the application, sift through it, ask questions, and we'll see what happens. Let's face it, uh, have you launched a radio station before? Oh, me personally? You personally? I have not. No, me neither. No. So we're figuring this out along with everybody else. Uh, nobody here is uh, a lifelong expert in launching radio stations. That's kind of the point. So we're going to see how this goes, but we are in a position as of this morning where we have all the paperwork filled out. We're going to go through it one more time this morning, and then uh, somebody's going to click submit somewhere, and it's going to pop into the inbox of somebody at the CRTC. Nicole may be banging on their window at the time. (laughs) Check your email! (laughs) Your email. No, not the fax machine. Not the fax. Your email. Yeah. So, you know, um, we, we, we'll we make sure one way or the other that they get that email. We'll uh, we'll bear down on them. Yeah. You know, we sent the attack dog, Nicole, to make sure <laughs> that this gets done. Uh, and and then we'll, uh, we'll find out. So then they'll inevitably print off that email. And then uh, it'll sit on a yeah. desk for five, 
six months. Yeah, print it off. They'll get to it. They'll frame it. <laughs> yeah, right. hang it, hang it on the on their little uh, yeah wall of <laughs> wall of small radio stations that we should eventually get around to dealing with. Wall of you wish. Yeah, and <laughs> we'll uh, we'll sit there for a little while. Uh, no, who knows? We will we will find out. the The exciting thing from your point of view as a listener in this very early embryonic stage of Cabin Radio, well done you for supporting us before we even had an FM license. Uh, you will get to inspect that application online. When the uh, when the application is filed, it gets put on the CRTC's website, and you get to go check it out and see what the plan is, which I think will be pretty exciting for people. Can't really go into it until it's on the website, but once it is, you get to, to rummage on through it. There are a couple of sentences in the in the application um, that uh, that <laughs> that I think are a little uh, little ballsy. Uh oh. Yeah. Why? Just a little. Uh, well, they, I've, I've read through it. It's a beautifully written application. It. It really says everything I want it to say. A couple of them are a bit sort of like we blow our own trumpets a little bit in this application. Okay. We well, someone's got it. That's the deal, right? You can't play yourself down in the application no. to be for an FM license. You need to point out all the good stuff that we do because that's what's going to get us the license. So there's a couple of lines in there where I'm like, ah, it's probably not very Canadian to have said that. But you know what? You know what? It's no time for Canadian. There's no time for no. modesty now. No. No, no time for humility. We You'll know are that- the greatest thing that has happened in the history <laughs> Honestly, of... Was that where we're heading? Yeah, yeah. You'll know those sentences when you see them. Yeah, look forward <laughs> to reading the application on the website. I think there are a couple of paragraphs which you will read. You'll be like, oh, oh look at Gavin Radio. Whoa, oh, all right, guys. Okay. But, you know, we've got to put it out there. Okay, maybe don't look at the application. Yeah, maybe don't look at the application. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's uh, paragraph 61, 41, paragraph 41. Maybe just gloss over that one. Uh, you know what? We're, we're, we're modest, humble folk, really. Uh, listen, thank you all for your support and for listening to this wonderful radio station. We continue to work to get everybody uh, onto FM, and obviously we'll keep you posted on that. Thanks for listening. Check out more from the show at cabinradio.ca and by following the Mornings at the Cabin Facebook page.